Welcome, pile one. Here is what you can look forward to. Okay, so we're gonna put your rose quartz to the side. I feel, because you've chosen the rose quartz, I feel what you have to look forward to has a lot to do with the fact that you embody this loving energy, this unconditional love energy, self-love energy, and you've done a lot of healing when it comes to your heart chakra, allowing yourself to be more vulnerable. And because of this, you are being rewarded here with harmonious relationships, okay? Uh, this is a rough. This is a stone in the rough. So it's been rough, but I'm seeing some polished uh, parts of the surface here. Um, so even in the rough, this, this crystal is, this rose quartz is not very rough. So I'm seeing you uh you've been through rough times with people and such but i feel you really have been able to transmute negative energy into positive energy um through just embodying this energy of love and because of that you're being rewarded with really beautiful loving relationships uh, harmony within relationships, healing within relationships, because you're healing within yourself. So there's a lot of healing, self-love going on, embodying this energy of universal love and unconditional love. And because of that, that you, that you that's what you're getting back from your surroundings. And it's also like you are spreading the love. You are inspiring others to do the same. So you're changing the world in that way just by responding to fear with love as well as what I'm seeing here. Responding to fear with love. Good for you guys. Good for you. Okay, so let's see what else you have to look forward to. Okay, so we have star seers. Okay, so you guys may be a lot into observing the stars. Uh, maybe you've seen shooting stars. You could be a star seed, especially if you've been very connected to the stars since a young age. Like if you've been looking at, at the stars, wanting to learn more about the cosmos, I know I used to, when I was a child, I used to look at the stars a lot and I even um, considered a career in astronomy at the time, but I ended up studying astrology instead. How funny that works, right? Um, because, well, I am a starseed as well. And if you, you could be starseeds is what I'm picking up with this. And so if you don't know what that is, if you feel like you are different and you have a different mission here or you come from some place that is not this earth, then go ahead and check out my star seeds pick a cards here on the channel. I have at least two or three, I'm not sure, but I will leave it in a suggestion here at the top, at the end of the video. I'll leave it in a, a little box here as a suggestion right at the end of the video. So if you wait until the end of the video or if you listen to the full message. But you know, um, you've been listening to your intuition and some of you have been blindly following your intuition. And when I say blindly following your intuition, you have to, it's an act of faith, it really is. See how her third eye, that's the third eye is very lit. So you've had to follow like your inner guidance, your mind's eye vision, as opposed to what you can see outside of yourself, what is external. So you've had to block out external stimuli that was telling you one thing, showing you one thing, but intuitively you know you knew something else was going on and that's what I'm talking about here. You followed that inner guidance rather than what you could pick up with your um, with your eyes here. So you kept your eyes focused on something. And so what I'm seeing here, guys, there's so much symbology in this card that I'm, I can't ignore. So she's like focused on a path here, a journey up, uh, up leveling. I'm seeing up leveling. So I'm getting stardom for some of you. Some of you have been seeking stardom or some of you are being led to stardom because of the path that you're on because of your life purpose maybe involves being seen in some way or okay for others of you you could have Aquarius in your chart doesn't have to be but you have some sort of big mission here that you're very focused on and it's about reaching the stars now reaching the stars could mean a different things for different people of course reaching the stars for you could be spreading the love okay that for me is what it looks like to really reach the stars and for some of you it could be being famous it could be a, a number of things okay each one of you will have a different life purpose and you're meant to follow that purpose and not judge your for it right uh, whatever you do I feel though you're doing it with love for the purpose of spreading love so whatever you're doing keep doing it is what I'm seeing here so what do you have to look forward to you're leveling up you're glowing up you are reaching the stars with your dreams you're making your dreams come true you're possibly even making other people's dreams come true 
uh, what to look forward to. You're going to discover something about yourself that is very special here, okay, as well. The number 46, the number 10, and the number 1 could be... Um, important to you. You're definitely closing a major cycle here and starting a new one. And this new cycle that you're starting here is definitely very love-based, okay? It's very love-based energy here. So you've been on a holistic journey that you've been trusting. And because of this, your dreams are finding their way into being into your life, okay? It's very connected to your spiritual journey, your dreams coming true and you have these dreams for a reason it's because you're meant to have them because they are part of your life purpose and so there's a focus here on the bigger picture and you are aligning with a very positive outcome here and the outcome is going to be better than you expected is what I'm seeing here because you have the clarity of a greater path for yourself so you're you're headed toward a specific destination and it's um it's leveling up. It's leveling up. So now it's like the universe is working with you. You're working in tandem in alignment with the universe is what I'm seeing here. So let's get your archetype. Okay, we have the ring. So what to look forward to? A commitment, okay? Or someone committing to you or someone uh, locking things in with you like something that's going to last whatever this glow up or this path that you're on toward ascension i'm seeing leveling up glowing up it's going to last okay you're going to stay committed to this path path now there could be someone offering you a ring for commitment as well for the purpose and the intent of commitment we have the number uh 55 56 57 could be relevant to you okay there is a commitment here with uh, possibly someone else who is also a star seed, okay? You may share this in common. Um, you may astral travel toward each other. You may feel connected by the cosmos, by your spiritual paths. Um, you could be connected in dreams with this person. But I am seeing um, someone who is very similar to you in your spiritual makeup. This person and you are like going to find each other or... Yeah, you're finding each other and committing to each other. So I'm seeing this is something for some of you to look forward to here. But I'm also seeing you very committed to your spiritual path, very committed to leveling up, glowing up, and uh, being the, ve the best version of yourself. And because of that, you're getting the love back in return. You're getting the universe helping you more and more and more in return. I'm seeing with the number 57 here, I've been, I see that you've been through, because the, the number 57 is the three of swords in the traditional tarot meaning, um, heartbreak, disappointments, um, yeah, a pain experience, betrayal possibly. And so you're overcoming this pain from betrayal or heartbreak. You're healing your heart is what I'm seeing here. And you're it's being sealed with a ring. So if you were heartbroken before by anyone, there's going to be someone coming in, committing to you and offering you that stability that you didn't feel before. And this person, you're both very connected, um, very connected on a soul level here okay now this could also be someone coming forward giving you some kind of stability and commitment uh, on your um, life purpose path on your career path as well it doesn't have to be love okay take what resonates here but there is a connectedness that you have and i'm seeing the connectedness also to the universe to all that is and you're you're no longer viewing life as linear okay um, but as a series of progressive achievements. And so you are experiencing one part of that here as well. And so um, there's something very cyclical, very infinite in your experiences and, and in, the, in the, the grand scope of things where, you know, time is not even a thing. It's time is nonlinear as well. And this is something that you're understanding that you can tap into any um it's every experience is always available to you you all you only have to tap into that energy to manifest it and you're becoming aware of this um and so it's almost like endings and beginnings become a natural phase of just something that is very cyclical and so there could be uh, eternal love here that sur surpasses space, time, and worldly things. So there could be a connection here, a past life connection to love here as well. 
and a very intimate bond between two lovers here. So that's something that you can look forward to, if anything. Maybe even if there isn't a ring, there is just um it's almost like sealing a very intimate connection because the bond is so strong between you and someone else that you don't even need a ring to like validate that is what I'm seeing here, okay? But of course there could be the ring which is uh, the icing on top of the cake, if you will, but you know, you don't really need a ring. If you have something that strong, the ring becomes irrelevant. Well, at least to some people, at least um, for me, the ring would be irrelevant. It's just an extra thing that comes in here. We have community. So there's a blessing and a sense of community coming your way where it seems like some of you are getting actually a following, like you're creating a community of people and it's going to bring you and these people a lot of blessings in transformation, whatever this community is. Now, if for those of you who are getting a ring, like an engagement ring, a marriage, this community card is telling me about a wedding and you creating a new community by joining your two lives and your two families into one very blessed community and your lives transforming each other's uh, families as a, um, a result of these two families coming together. For others of you, you are creating a strong bond with your community or with a community that you're creating, transforming and bringing blessings to that's bringing blessings to you. Again, I'm seeing for those of you who have social media platforms such as TikTok or YouTube or Twitter, whatever it is that you use, you are up leveling. You will be getting a greater following. Some of you are going viral here. And maybe you've been like um, dormant for a very long time, like you've been going through like feeling numb at life, like nothing's happening, like you're putting in all this work and it's not paying off or um, you've, you've just been feeling numb in life and like you're coming back from the dead almost. Well, when I say the dead, I mean you're getting a, a, a death and a rebirth. It's like you've for, for a very long time, maybe you even disappeared from social life. And now uh, people are starting to see you again. You're starting to accept social invitations, starting to show up again. And uh, people are going to see that, wait a second, after all, this person is actually alive. But you, what was happening was, because I'm seeing a butterfly there, a butterfly there, you were cocooning and the cocoon stage. And now you're emerging this beautiful butterfly, very enlightened and actually holding a light uh, to lead others uh, out of the same darkness into life again. Bringing people back to life is what you're doing by your example and people feeling very inspired by you doing this. The number 29 could be relevant to you as well as the number 2 here. Um, yeah, you're very selfless and you are very cooperative. You are very uh, compromising with people and you're teaching people about this as well and you're helping people find the compromise with others and improve their relationships by first of all improving their own relationship with themselves which is what you did here and what you're inspiring others to do and this is the very thing that is bringing you and others around you back to life it's almost like you're bringing a community back to life here you're bringing a community to life and you are bringing people who are your community back to life, okay? Yeah, and bringing them this vital energy, which is something that you're experiencing yourself as well. You learn how to do this yourself. You stepped into your masculine energy. You took charge of, you took responsibility of your own path, of your own healing, of your own vitality, not expecting it to come from anyone else except yourself. And look at this, it's so much about emerging and feeling passionate. See how she's still emerging and she's still a little bit blue there, but then the, the fire lights up again. See, it's warm, so it's cold. You're coming out of the cold into the warmth and you're bringing a community of people with you uh, with this yang energy for a new beginning, the number one there. And it's like Phoenix rising from the ashes. So it's almost like you're going to inspire a lot of people, but you're also going to surprise a lot of people who thought that you were you were over like you were a failure or, oh, you know, she just nothing ended up she or he uh, becoming anything. And so there you are proving everyone, especially yourself, wrong. OK, if you were feeling like a failure, this is the farthest thing you're going to prove yourself wrong and everyone else who thought this of you wrong and you're just going to 32 is the number of victory and winning so you're going to win at life here you're still going to be a winner 
at life here. You're going to, this is also the Six of Wands energy. You're having success and victory and you're being noticed and inspiring and you're coming back from many battles victorious is what I'm seeing here. The Phoenix rising from the ashes, absolutely, that's beautiful. And you're being liberated and you're, uh, while you're liberating yourself, you're also being the liberator for someone. Jophiel is the archangel for beauty, so you're definitely getting a glow up um, here that's coming from your sense of freedom and this uh, I'm seeing a lot of orange and yellow here so there's uh, definitely your self-confidence your self-worth improving here that's been worked on and because of that you have healed now you got red jasper so justice strength and stability for those of you who were on who were treated unfairly or you know th something was very unfair especially maybe uh, a court case or something you're gonna get your justice okay you're gonna get your strength back and you're gonna feel very stable and strong here with this red Jasper I'm seeing a lot of reds and yellows and oranges so I'm seeing creative energy I'm seeing you creating a solid stable foundation for yourself and feeling very self-assured feeling very of uh, creating a solid stable foundation and um, transmuting that fear transmuting that fear instead of fear you're you're working through the fear with love and you're transmuting the fear by focusing on love and so this says you could have Mars and Scorpio or Aries or you could have Aries or Scorpio in your chart but this is giving me tower tower vibes from the, the tarot. So the tower moment. You're bringing down a very unstable foundation to create a solid, stable one. So this the, 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 the unstable foundation could have been something like belief patterns that you, thought patterns that you have that weren't true, that were just things that you were telling yourself, such as, you know, but it could also be things people were telling you about yourself that were not true and you were believing these things and it was affecting your self-confidence or just um, uh, uh, an unstable structure or um, foundation in your life that wasn't truly strong and you're going to find out it wasn't strong because it's going to crumble and it's going to be for your highest good here. So it was something that was actually um, keeping you stuck rather than... Um, so it could even be breaking a commitment here that was keeping you stuck or that was not good for you, okay? Could even be with that falling on top of that ring there. So it says, Red Jasper works closely with the base chakra and heals any wounds surrounding injustice. Yes, your base chakra. So you were living in fear maybe um, and that was creating an imbalance in your life or something that happened to you that was unfair was making you fearful in the future, thought, thinking maybe these things would repeat themselves, but you're healing this. You're healing your basic fears and you're transmuting that into instead of focusing on the fear of what happened to you, you're going to focus that you're going to. Because you see with the base chakra, it's red, it's over our um, reproductive system and our legs. That is our foundation, right, in the body. And that's where we heal our base chakra. It's the color red here. And so you can see it two ways. If it's unbalanced, you focus on fear. It means you are in fear mode. If it is balanced, it means you are using it to create a solid, stable foundation for yourself. And that's what you're transmuting the fear into now focusing on instead, you know, creating a very solid base chakra in, in your life in general, creating a solid, stable foundation for yourself. That depends on you, yang energy, emperor energy. You're taking charge of your life here. You're no longer leaving your, your fate into someone else's hands. And so grounding you back to earth. Yeah, you're grounding. You're grounding and red jasper alleviates chronic worry. So if you've been a, cro a chronic worry wart, this is about to um, change, transmute, and be done with. Definitely be done with. It is, it's over. Um, yeah, because you're clearing mental blockages right now. And because of that, you're making space for balanced emotions and thoughts is what this is saying here. Working with the base chakra red jasper can also help heal issues related to sex, inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways, providing stability and protection. Red jasper balances yin and yang, expressing ma masculine and feminine energies that feel safe yet nourished. So this is what's happening for you right now. You're balancing your yin and your yang. And you are healing even repressed sexuality or your own judgment towards sexuality here is healing. We have express your individuality 
Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. So this is something that you're going to be able to do. And I'm seeing for some of you, finally, you're going to be able to do this. Because, you know, you're going to realize that people actually find your true self to be awesome. And maybe you were worried about being judged and it's going to be actually the, the opposite. More people are going to like you than not. And again, you know, for each thing we do, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like it. But I see mostly it's going to benefit you to be yourself because your, your tribe is going to find you and the people who need you the way you are will find you. And, and it's going to be a lot of people, by the way, okay? A lot more than you anticipate because there's a lot of healing also around your throat, throat chakra. You're going to liberate your throat chakra. You're going to liberate your thoughts and you're going to make them known, okay? You're going to feel free with your speech, you are being helped by Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel Messenger here. The number 39 could be relevant to you as well as the number 3. There's a lot of healing around your throat chakra as well. You're finally going to speak your truth because you're healing your base chakra, your creativity. You're going to become a lot more creative. I'm seeing if you've experienced creative block, that is um, lifting. Your creativity, your creative juices are going to flow a lot, a lot better and a lot more. Um, if you've been experiencing writer's block, for example, you're going to start writing again um, and being able to unlock that because you're seeing clearly and you're thinking clearly and you're realizing that because you're creating this solid, stable foundation, you're healing your self-worth, you're healing your fears, you're healing all of that, then you're going to feel safer to speak your truth because you're going to be more secure in your own foundation. You're going to be okay with your own foundation. We have Mercury here. So definitely you have a gift of communication. You have a gift of communication here. And uh, your words, your thoughts, everything, um, your the information you have to share, you're going to be able to analyze things a lot better. Um, your trade is going to improve if you have like e-commerce or, or if you have some sort of business, things are going to improve here. Uh, people are going to become more curious about what you're doing. Again, more followers because you maybe ha have a life purpose that involves communication and whatever you have to communicate, people want to know, okay? Um, whatever that is in whatever form, whether that's speaking, writing, singing, um, Whatever form of communication, people want what you have to offer. You could have Gemini or Virgo in your chart as well. Now, we have the tower. Oh, that's interesting because I did see that tower moment with this energy here. Yeah, it says Aries, Scorpio, and Mars, and that's the tower energy. Absolutely. Here we have it. So, yeah, everything that is no longer serving your highest good um, and hence serving the highest good of those around you is crumbling in your life. And we have the number 16 as well as the number 7 here. And that's because you're on a spiritual path and you can no longer unsee things. You can no longer deny or avoid your own uh, ascension, your own awakening, your own um, spiritual development here because it is leading you toward the life that you want to live. And so there are certain people, circumstances, situations, places that no longer serve your higher purpose because you are too aware of what that is to ignore it. And you can't unsee it because you can't deny it because living uh, like that, even if you insist on uh, following a path that is not for you, this you know the universe is going to intervene and set you on the right path if you've been too long like avoiding it or in your comfort zone or in denial. Um, maybe sneaking away from your path and your truth and trying to get away with it, Seven of Swords, it's not working because it's your higher calling. It is your liberation. And maybe you've been walking away from your own freedom by keeping yourself stuck in situations like in a loop that no longer serve you for egotistical reasons. When I say egotistical, I mean ego, okay, fear. So it's almost like someone who doesn't like to go on planes because they're fearful and so they find every excuse under the sun not to go oh because then i will have this to do and that to do and it's not a good day because this and because that right it's it's almost like they really want to travel but because of their fears they're not going and so i see you being someone like trying to sneak away from um things kind of changing in your life in the direction where they that would actually actually make you happier and uh but you know you're no longer being able to get away with this because it's just becoming too loud in your in your 
in your soul. With the Two of Pentacles here, yeah, you may be juggling here, deciding on doing something. You've been juggling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But yeah, you can't get away with that anymore. There's an ending here, impending, Ten of Swords. You know, and it's also the end of your pain and the end of your fear. So this is a good ending, an ending of your, your own self-sabotage is what I'm seeing here. The ending of your own self-sabotage. Because you need this new beginning, it's time. It may even be, well, it's most likely in your astrological chart. If you look for it, it's there, you know. It's like you can't avoid this anymore. It's a new beginning, a total new beginning. You could have Aries in your chart, doesn't have to be. And, you know... You're already midway. You've already been making moves in this new beginning. You're halfway already, but you've been moving so slowly out of fear that things will abruptly... You don't like the, the abrupt um, kind of um, factor in this whole thing, but it's almost like there are certain things that just can't wait. And it seems like, yeah, you've been moving slowly, but surely, and you've been planning and you've been cautious because you don't want to drop the ball and you want to make sure everything is... But, you know, there's going to be a little bit of chaos, I must tell you, to accelerate the process. Um, and, yeah, through this process, you may feel Five of Swords a little bit defeated. But at the same time, uh, and, you know, Five of Swords is not only defeat, but it's also like, yeah, because you feel like you failed by not following the things you said you were going to do or something or people may be coming up against your decision is what I'm seeing here. And there's a lot of mental chatter, a lot of mental, um, there's a mental battle going on within you. And this is actually source of a lot of your stress related, um, maybe uh, stress related health concerns even. Now, something came up here about this in my TikTok reading. It's called What You Need to Know Right Now, TikTok. Go ahead and find the, in the description box, you will find my TikTok information. But again, back to the reading. Um, you've been defeated by your own mind to the point where it's like battle after battle after battle in your own mind, and it's been persistent. And sometimes you may even experience some stress-related health issues because uh, of your own stubbornness and refusing to to see some things that need to change. Um, and you've been through many battles and maybe you fear having to go through a lot of battles in the future and you fear um, things going awry in the future. But you know, the thing is, what good to expect, it, 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 what, sorry, the reading was what good things you can expect is actually um or what to look forward to sorry i forget my title sometimes what to look forward to is that your persistence in is going to pay off your persistence in your healing your persistence in allowing yourself a new beginning your persistence in being your true self your persistence in also advocating for yourself is going to pay off it's going to be successful here okay and so what what else what other things to expect sorry what to look forward to so someone could be giving you a gift it could be a gift of love or an actual physical gift it could be a small token of love that will convey their appreciation for you uh, it could also be something that is said that is a gift or just an energy exchange that is a gift here okay the number 19 could be relevant to you as well as the number one yeah, we have Akasha. So you're getting a glimpse into the Akashic records right now. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and their divine life mission, whether you know that or not. So if a lot of people are coming to you for advice, it's because you have something to teach them and you are a spiritual teacher. You have these spiritual gifts. You can see beyond what other people can see. And that is a part of your divine life mission. And people uh, recognize this in you because by talking to you, they're tapping into the Akashic Records. It's like you're a gateway to the Akashic Records for other people. We have meditate. So you're being advised to meditate. Maybe this is something you do already. And meditate, allow yourself to receive what is coming your way. I feel this gift coming to you is a gift from the universe, either through a, a piece of information from the Akashic Records. So allow yourself to receive this gift. Don't deny what you're seeing in your mind's eye. Don't deny your thoughts because these are clear cognizant downloads that are coming from the higher realms, okay? So 
trust your intuition, allow your intuition to guide you, okay? And it will increase your energy and your ability to give others in return. Okay, pile number one, that was your reading. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you soon. Bye for now. Welcome, pile two, if you chose this Chevron ameth Amethyst. This is your reading. So this is what to look forward to. Pile two, what to look forward to. I'm seeing more clarity, increased psychic abilities, something about your dreams here showing you something. Your dreams showing you something. Now I'm seeing waves on a beach, like the, the foam like several waves coming in. Someone here could surf or something about surfing, but I'm seeing something about dreams and waves in your dreams, something about your emotions, deep emotions and your subconscious coming out in your dreams. So you could be dreaming about water or the ocean, any form of water, but I'm seeing especially the ocean. And this is revealing the stirrings of your emotions, deep emotions that are within you that are coming to the surface. So pay attention to that dream because it's telling you about your emotions, something about your emotions that you need to pay attention to. That can't be ignored, that needs healing, that needs to be looked into. Okay? Pile two, what to look forward to. I'm seeing healing your emotions. We have ether. So you are very connected to the higher realms. You are someone who is very ethereal is what I'm seeing. The number 11 here could be relevant to you. <sighs> yeah, the number 11 could hold some resonance with you. You're being spiritually activated here to ascend to the higher realms, to step into your light body is what I'm seeing. You're at the threshold of an ascension here of something big, and you're starting to come into this... Um, belief and the sense that everything is possible, everything and anything is possible. And so it's like you're being given a blank canvas here to work on. Choose what you want to bring into your life here. You need to make a choice about what it is that you want to bring into your life. You're going to feel very limitless here because of your connection to the higher realms, you're going to feel this limitless, limitlessness of what you can achieve. And so it's just up to you what it is that you want to achieve, really, and you will be able to, because there are endless possibilities uh, being in your energy that you can tap into, and you're becoming aware of this. You're transcending, transcending any limit, limitations here. Um, and you're, you're uh, not allowing any distractions, and it's just focus on pure potential here. So you may have been spending a lot of time in silence and meditation. You're being, being very centered and ground, grounded, sorry. So, yeah, again, this is an energy of dreams being birthed. So whatever you're dreaming, you're able to, to make it possible. Make your dreams come true is what I'm seeing here. That's what you have to look forward to. Yes. Your path is being illuminated out of the darkness is what I'm seeing here very, very strongly. Okay. The womb. Yeah, you're, there's something in the womb stages, in the conception stages right now. For some of you, this is an actual child in your womb. For others of you, this is a, a creative project that you are now nourishing, nurturing, and in the cocoon phases, the womb phases, the conception phase. It's like planting a really good seed here that is going to become something very, something great actually, because this is ethereal. This is something that is being earthed from the higher realms. It's like you're grounding, you're bridging heaven and earth here. If it's a child, your child, is going to be a very ethereal child, very connected to the higher realms, very psychic, very special, very with a very special mission here on earth. Now, if this is your mission, your project, this is coming, this is information that was communicated to you from the higher realms. If you had like a genius idea 
uh, um, a flash light bulb moment, unexpected, out of the blue, maybe a dream told you, showed you something, you had a, a very powerful vision, um, you're meant to ground this and this is very special. This is not your own mind. This is being communicated to you from your spirit team. I mean, you are a part of this team, so it's also from you. But it's just like becoming, it's coming into your awareness now and you are um, making this happen. And you're very passionate about what this is. I'm seeing uh, fire energy here. It's very spiritual energy because I'm seeing the, the purples and I'm seeing the reds and the oranges. And so this is fueling your creativity and you're going to know exactly what to do because you're going to get your, your creative juices are going to be flowing because he, this is divinely guided. This is his divine inspiration coming through from, from the higher realms. This is not something that you could create on your own. No, not at all. This is something big, ethereal, very out of this world. Something that others, it's something could they couldn't conceive. Well, you're going to find people who are going to be doing this with you or the same, you know, kind of like the same thing, and you're going to end up meeting each other, but you're not going to know of each other until it becomes like this ripple effect where you start meeting. Yeah, there's an opportunity coming through for you. There's an opportunity here. I want to know more about this opportunity. Golden Palace. So there's going to be an opportunity for you to move into a really nice home or to buy a nice, a nice home or to afford a nice home, or to afford your rent, or to pay off a mortgage. Uh, there's a golden opportunity coming your way as well as what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing money, an opportunity that is bringing you more money, increased finance, um, a new source of income, an extra source of income. I'm also seeing having the Midas touch, and I'm seeing the crescent moon that could mean something to you. Whatever you touch, t turning to gold. The number 23 here is also a 5. So this is change. Change here from your financial circumstances are changing for the better. Okay? Yeah, and you're going to be able to clean it up. Uh, clean up debt, I would say. Clean up your debt. Absolutely. Clean up that mortgage. Whatever you owe, you're going to clean it up. The number 21 could be relevant to you as well as the number 3. Yeah, there's progress here. Um, you're cleaning up your debt is what I'm seeing and for some of you you're gonna have to clean up one home to move into a better home or you're gonna move into a really nice home and you're gonna have to clean it up just a little because they didn't clean it up or it's dusty and it needs some cleaning so you're gonna be cleaning a new home before you put the furniture in or you're gonna clean your old home so you can move to the new one or you're cleaning up a home after renovations if that's the case for you now let's see what else yeah, victim consciousness. So this would be another thing that you're cleaning up is your own victim consciousness. If you've been in this in, in this energy, you're cleaning it up. You're no longer in this energy. That's what you have to look forward to because now you've been sparked. You've had a spark of inspiration. You no longer feel like a victim. You've had some kind of clarity here that is allowing you to move away from victim consciousness and realize that you know you still have the present and the future you don't only have the past so you're moving away from the past you're cleaning up the past and the pain that was left in you and you're just taking the lessons with you and moving out of victim consciousness the number 12 could be relevant to you i'm seeing mirrored numbers now 2112 angel number 2112 check that out and we have 33 master number 33 so you're definitely connected to the ascended masters okay um but the fact that you are working through victim consciousness, moving away from it, that's when the opportunities are going to start coming in. And you're going to realize that it's all a matter of faith. We have faith here. You're connected to Archangel Raziel. But your faith is actually leading you out of victim consciousness and realizing that it's not what happened to you, it's what you do with it. Because you still have the present and you still have the future. The past is gone and there's nothing you can do about it. And you're having faith in your future. Okay, we have quartz here. So you're growing, you're aligning, and you're cleansing. Absolutely. You're cleansing, and because you're cleansing, you're coming into alignment. And because you're coming into alignment, you're growing. So I would put these three, I would, instead of growth, alignment, cleanse, I would say cleanse, alignment, and growth. So it says, containing all the colors of the spectrum, quartz is considered to be a high vibrational crystal with many metaphysical powers. 
So you're developing your metaphysical powers, a conduit of energy, which I believe this is what you are, a conduit of energy. Quartz generates electromagnetic energy and dispels electricity, absorbing, storing, releasing, and regulating positive or negative energy. This is what's happening with you. So if you need help with this, get some quartz, clear quartz. Quartz is highly personal and works with your energy field one-on-one, -on -one, attuning it to it according to your needs. Quartz is easily programmable, so you are programming yourself like a blank slate, allowing you to set your intentions so that the stone works in your favor. Set your intentions wisely. Okay, all signs, sun and moon. Okay, this is for everyone. So I'm getting all signs in this reading, so this is for a lot of people. So what else can you look forward to? You can look forward to the summertime. Why? Because everything you're asking for is becoming yours in the summertime. That's nice. So you can look forward to the summertime. There's a golden opportunity coming to you in the summertime. This could be a new home. This could be money to purchase a home, to rent a place. Um, you can look forward to the summer. And because everything that you're asking for is going to become yours in the summer because you've held your faith, because you've followed your intuition. And a lot of healing is coming in the summer, especially healing of your self-worth and your self-confidence. Or something happening in the summer is going to help you heal your self-worth and your self-confidence. The number 51 and the number 6 could be relevant to you. You're going to feel very empowered come summertime. Very empowered. There's a conjunction possibly happening for you astrologically in the summer. So something, a combination of uh, joining forces with someone possibly, coming into contact with someone is going to be very healing for you. Maybe a, a healing hug I'm seeing as well. Um, are you going to join forces with someone and become a very powerful partnership here? Um, Something is being activated for you. Healing is being activated once you combine your energies with the energies of someone else. But you're, you're strengthening and, and you're coming into your own power in the summertime is what I'm seeing here. That's something to look forward to. Yeah. And then feeling very motivated. So definitely out of this victim consciousness. I'm seeing for some of you, your solar plexer, plexus got affected. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. Our solar plexus is where we receive people's energy. Other people, that's how they connect the, the cord between our solar plexus and their solar plexus. And this is a very powerful energy exchange here. Uh, it's between human beings, okay, on this realm. And so this is where we get affected. You know that punch in the gut kind of feeling? This is where we feel it, in our solar plexus. And it can really make or break our day or make or break our days, depending on how many times we get, we suffer a blow, right? Blows aren't always physical. They can be energetic. And that's where we feel someone's energy when they, okay. Sorry, I needed to drink some water. That is where we feel people's energy when they talk down on us or when they, um, when they, when they um, infuse us with their venom, so to speak, it's the kind of interaction or person that we deal with, whoever that is for you, where they say something or they do something and it just ruins your day. It just brings you down. And so you're learning how to defend yourself from this energy and to clear your energy to cut those cords with those people. Maybe you're doing energy healing. Uh, whatever it is you're doing, you're definitely strengthening in the face of these interactions or these past interactions something maybe you were when you were a child happened to you and you're healing from that now even if it happened to you when you were adults and it triggered your childhood wounds you are now healing all of that you've learned how to move past it it's like in one ear out the other like you don't it doesn't even affect you anymore you've learned to protect yourself to create a barrier against this kind of behavior, this kind of treatment, you're not allowing it anymore. You're moving away from it. Look at this. Woo -hoo. Moving away from it and moving away from it is empowering you. You're moving away from victim consciousness. Look at that eight of wands. You're just flying away. You're just whatever. It's just flying over your head, really. And it's, it's hitting the ground and uh, it's being transmuted by the universe. You don't even have to do anything about it because you've 
you've um, you've really really come far with your own healing already. And you're charging forward with this Knight of Swords here. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. You're taking action here. Now, for others of you, something to look forward to is someone in the summer is taking action toward you. And Knight of Swords to me is air travel. And that to me is air travel as well. So this could be someone at a distance who is charging in, coming in, taking action, and saying something important to you. Someone who could be very passionate about you, but they don't always show it, but they're going to start showing it. Yeah, you may have been five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold here, like forgotten by God and just relying upon your faith. It's paying off, okay? You're coming out of this energy of feeling left out in the cold, okay? Uh, there could be someone who has been feeling left out of your energy and they're coming in because they can't stay away from you. But I'm also seeing you, your faith is helping you recover from financial constraints and restrictions. Yeah, you've held strong. You've, you've pushed through a situation here and your strength here is paying off, okay? Your strength has paid off, and you are becoming stronger within yourself, within your self-worth here, um, especially after maybe, because the Knight of Swords could also be someone who used harsh words with you and, and felt made you feel low about yourself. You're taming that beast. You're taming that beast, okay? Now, this could be someone here coming in to visit you who uh, maybe you've been feeling left out in the cold from and they're coming in to, well, there's some lust here. I'm seeing some lust and this has been someone who has been holding back but they can no longer hold back and they're bringing you justice. They're bringing you something that your intuition has told you all this time but they never told you. They're 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 making things right with you, okay? They're balancing the scales here. You could have Libra in your chart or Leo or this person could. Now, if this is not a person, you're getting your justice because you've held strong through being poorly treated by someone um, who just made you feel less than, okay? And you've, you've held strong anyway and you've tamed that beast, uh, the beast within that allowed the trigger to uh, affect you and you're taming the beast outside of you as well it's almost like that's enough now you can't really do this any longer so I'm going to shut you up with my sword of justice and I'm going to put you in your place you know I'm going to I'm going to create the strong boundary and that's you know your time to treat me this way is over buddy you know it's it's over for you because now I'm focused on living this beautiful blissful life and you know your 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 energy is no longer welcome here. You either come uh, incorrect or you're the one who's going to be left out in the cold. Five of, of cups, that's the same that's the same energy. You're going to be very you're going to someone's going to be maybe very disappointed by you uh in seeing you being happy because they disappointed you in the past. They were mean to you in the past. And so, you know, you're going to leave them out in the cold as well because you're learning, you learned how to strengthen yourself and you are taking charge of your path and you're no longer allowing any type of abuse in your life here. You're this energy of this queen of uh, pentacles, right? Now, for some of you, this could be someone you live with who you're, there's going to be a rift created between the two of you and by the sword of justice. So this could be some kind of legal separation here going on. For those of you who suffered abuse in your household, I'm very sorry. Maybe you were living in a golden cage kind of um, situation and you were being held victim uh, by your own mind possibly because you wanted something or you needed something out of the situation. Uh, that's for some of you, not all of you, okay? Take it how it resonates. But you are no longer putting up with this and you're creating your own stability for yourself. You realize that you can actually, you don't depend on this person to um, give you the uh, golden palace that you need. And because of that, you're coming into union with yourself. But for some of you, this is interesting. Uh, whatever people you are walking away from, you're walking away from disappointment in general. And now it doesn't have to be a divorce or a separation or anything of that kind. It could just be that you're moving away from toxic environments or people. And uh, because of that, you're coming into union with a love connection that defies explanation, okay? Or you're walking away from a, a very disappointing connection 
legal maybe connection because you're finding your soulmate and you're coming into union with your soulmate and the connection between the two of you really defies explanation and you can't be away from this person or this person can't be away from you and they're coming to see you. I'm seeing maybe you're meeting up in the countryside or something to do with a place where there's a lot of nature, surrounded by nature here. And it's possible that you will create a project together or a child, okay, and become possibly this power couple. So, yeah, and I'm seeing the Four of Wands here and the, the Queen of uh, Pentacles, which is the married counterpart here. Uh, so you could, there could be a, a marriage happening here, uh, but um, yeah, this may cause some, um, this may co come after some form of disappointment or something like that, or you coming together, someone may not be very happy about this for whatever reason, okay? Maybe because they can't no longer uh, get away with abuse uh, toward whoever was being abused in the situation here. Ooh, okay, I'm feeling very accelerated here. This energy is very, very fast. Well, with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands there. Ooh, okay. So some of you with justice next to the Four of Wands are getting like married or a marriage proposal, maybe in the summertime. Okay. Oh. Or there could be, if there was a rift between you and someone in a marriage, there could be some healing if that if there wasn't abuse. And this is just something that went a little bit awry. You're going to be able to um, patch things up here, okay? We have Zana. So someone here could be named Zana or have a Z name. It doesn't have to be. It says you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask, I ask you to relax and feel safe. Yes. So for those of you who were projecting into the future your fears, it's like there, spirit is coming through to say you can feel safe, okay? You can look forward to um, some better times ahead and the worst is really now behind you. You are very protected from harm if you were harmed in the past. It's not going to repeat itself. Yes, you're going to experience peace because you chose peace. You chose peace over maybe someone okay or you chose peace instead of a relationship or keep to keep going a certain way or maybe um, you chose peace over trying to be right all the time or you chose peace over fear okay peace is a very high vibrational um, energy much very close to love and joy okay so you chose peace whichever whatever this means for you whether this means moving away from uh, harsh people or environments or whether this means walking away from always trying to be right or acting from your triggers and your traumas okay and because of that that's exactly what you're getting so much peace came through in the last cards I noticed as I was shuffling so there is no need to worry everything will work out beautifully you will experience peace in your in your situation and your trans transformation and the summertime is bringing something very beautiful about a union between two people uh, it is bringing a lot about healing and empowerment and um, healing from victim consciousness and just experiencing peace here, okay? And I'm, I can't help but notice this woman is holding this child and we have the womb here. So maybe you're going to experience peace with your children or, you, again, the womb here and the child means that you're either giving birth in the summer, conceiving in the summer, or again, this could be a project that will yield a lot of... Um, uh, it will yield, it will bring you a harvest, okay? A lot of prosperity and abundance coming your way. Pile number two, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Bless you all and see you all soon. Bye for now. Welcome, last but not least, pile number three. If you chose this beautiful Prinite Tower, this is your reading. This is what you can look forward to. Okay, so Pranite it helps balance the kidneys, kidney function. Um, it also uh, helps you remember your dreams. So you may be remembering an important dream. And something about your kidney function could be improving here health-wise. Okay. What else am I seeing here? Let me see. Okay, that image there, that black image there, looks to me like someone who is meditating. So something about meditation here is going to help you balance your, regulate your health. 
your immune, your, your immune system as well. What else am I seeing here? Let me see. I'm seeing you've been through a lot of struggles, but you're clearing the way for the future. You're moving through the rubble. I'm seeing like it looks like a tornado has been in here and lifted everything. Maybe you experienced a tornado in your house. I'm seeing also these look like ashes, like for something that burned maybe, a house that burned or ashes from, or just rubble and things flying in the air. So experiencing peace after something disruptive happened. So I'm seeing chaotic energy, the calm after the storm, the calm after the storm. Some of you, there was a drowning when you were, when, when you were younger, someone drowned and came back to life. Some of you uh, normally, some of you could be um, swimming in a river. That's something you, you normally do on your free time or you used to do this as kids. Wow, so much interesting information coming here. Okay, I'm also picking up if you, if you remember a dream about drowning that is uh, symbolic of you drowning in your emotions. So you need to pay attention to um, healing you need to do with your emotions. Healing your emotions. What is triggering those emotions? Looking deeper into what's going on there. Because what's going on inside you is there's a lot that hasn't been healed and a lot that hasn't been put in its place. There's still a lot of clutter within you that needs to be cleared that hasn't been cleared from the past. So you need to declutter your soul, your emotions, your mind of past issues that haven't been addressed or healed. It's still there blocking your progress, keeping you stuck, keeping you in fear, lower vibrational mode. Okay. That was interesting, beautiful. All right. So what do you have to look forward to? Beautiful. You're powerful manifestors. You, need, you have, what do you have to look forward to? Your own manifestations. Whatever you've been manifesting, it's coming through. That's what you have to look forward to. The number 36 could be relevant to you and the number 9. Could be in uh, 3, 6, or 9 days, weeks, or months that this is manifesting. Maximum 9 months, Okay. Maximum nine months, your manifestations are coming to life. That's what you have to look forward to. And we have a castle. So some of you have actually manifested a really nice house. A very, maybe even a luxurious um, abode, right? Temple. Um, I'm seeing luxuries, beautiful surroundings. I'm seeing Venusian energy here with this Taurus and Libra energy. You could have Taurus or Libra, Gemini, and Virgo as well. Definitely very Venusian energy of attracting, manifesting. So I'm seeing Gemini, Libra, Taurus, and Virgo energy. I'm seeing uh, manifesting a glow up, manifesting beautiful surroundings, manifesting healing of your heart chakra with this pink rose and this green energy here. Manifesting more self-respect as well, or you're being able to manifest because you you hold more self-respect toward yourself. And because that you're getting blessings, you're manifesting blessings. That's what you have to look forward to, these blessings that you're manifesting. Because you chose to speak up, to sing your own song. You're singing your own song. You're no longer marching to someone else's tune. You are singing your own song, following your own blessings, manifesting what it is that you want into your life for a change, I'm hearing, for a change. Okay? Uh, and again, all this water and these emotions being healed and flowing and 
no longer being rough and unclear. It's no longer like the bottom of a river or, um, no, it's like very calm, smooth, and soothing, very flowingly, beautiful flowing energy here. And with this bird being yellow here, I'm seeing healing your self-confidence and your self-worth here. Definitely a lot of healing that you can look forward to. Healing the ouch, whatever hurt you, whatever you felt pain with, now that could be physical, emotional, uh, pain here. You're healing that pain, okay? Yeah, uh, life is about to become a lot more flexible with you because you also allowed yourself to be more flexible. And your own flexibility is going to be the passport to your healing is becoming more flexible in how you view things, moving away from being too rigid. The number 19 and the number one could be relevant to you. Oh, courage. I love this. So you're being gift, you're, you're getting the gift of courage here to move forward and, and be who you're truly meant to be. Live the life that you're truly meant to live here. Um, you're having the courage to move away from your own um, from your own limiting um, belief system. You're moving away from your own limiting belief system, and because of that, you will be healing a lot, and you will be manifesting more effectively all the things that you want. Your blessings are coming through, no longer being blocked here by circumstances. I feel you could have been blocking your own uh, manifestations due to fear, so you are. Begin being more flexible about how you view the world and all the possibilities. You're healing your self-concept. You're healing most of all your assumptions of what you believe is possible for yourself. And because of that, you're manifesting everything. What you need to look forward, what you have to look forward to is healing and manifesting uh, more courage. So maybe you've been manifesting being able to be courageous and that's paying off. It's happening. You can look forward to being more courageous you can look forward to being more flexible. You can look forward to moving away from rigid thinking and a, a rigid way of being. You can look forward to a very strong friendship here, a very beautiful friendship with someone who is very wise, okay? You can look forward to being wiser, to get gaining more wisdom and accessing your own wisdom. Okay, now you got big spite, timing, action, and change. You can look forward to a change here and to, to be taking action or someone. You can also be looking forward to someone who's uh, getting gaining the courage to take action toward you because they feel time is of the essence and they can't wait any longer. This could be someone who wants to be your friend or who is your friend but wants to take action toward you. But we're, we're going to find more about that because time is of the essence. Timing is everything, and with Big Spite, that couldn't be truer. Big Spite has an impeccable knack for the right timing, and that can encourage you. So you you can look forward to knowing when the right time will come, or you can look forward to the right time for something and can encourage you to try new things, pursue an opportunity, or change anything that needs an update. So there's, you can look forward to an opportunity that you will be able to pursue. You can look forward to trying something new. And you can look forward to being able to change anything that you need to update. Big Spite opens the connection between your base chakras and your heart chakra and infuses you with unconditional love for yourself and others. So you may want to go and watch pile number two. Big Spite encourages energy expressed as action, movement, and progression to move forward True toward true alignment between you and your soul. Update what's outdated with joy and recharge your life. Yes, you're moving away from fear into joy and you're updating your life, upgrading your life as a consequence. You're recharging your life, feeling young again, feeling new again, feeling renewed, getting that rebirth here, feeling more um, alive, feeling more um, motivated here to take action, to move, to make progress. Maybe things have been very still for you and you're going to be able to move and take and make progress here. You could have Aries or Taurus in your chart. You could have Aries or Taurus in your chart. Wow, I love this energy, guys. Beautiful. 
Beautiful energy. What else can you look forward to? Okay, daughter. So becoming closer to your daughter if you have a daughter. Creating more of a friendship between you and your daughter. Or getting an answer from your daughter for those of you who have a daughter. Your, the answer to your question involves your daughter. Now, maybe some of you are maybe pregnant and asking, is this a girl or a boy? And it's a girl. Maybe you're uh, creating a stronger bond between you and your daughter. Now, this only applies to those of you who have daughters, okay? Beautiful. We have blossoming abundance. So what to look forward to? Your daughter is going to heal. For those of you who are experiencing... Um, who, whose daughters are experiencing some health issues that will improve their health will improve there will be healing for your daughter okay a lot of healing for your daughter and your daughter will be very abundant and your your daughter is going to give you some form of information that is going to unlock abundance for you for you both uh, the three is the empress energy here so I'm seeing mother and daughter here it doesn't have to be mother and daughter. It could just be. For some of you, mother and daughter will heal. Is what I'm seeing here. Someone is manifesting healing here. There's an opportunity coming your way that's going to open the doors for abundance to come and flow to you. Collaboration with someone possibly to synergize both talents and, and, and uh, skills that you have experience and knowledge that you have combining with someone else, collaborating. There's a doors opening of opportunity for you that's bringing in abundance here. You just have to have the courage to walk through them. But you're fighting yourself in this because of your rigid thinking, maybe. You've been fighting this, uh, walking through these doors. You're, you've been fighting against your own happiness because you're going to you're going to take the plunge, you're going to be courageous, and you're going to be very happy. You're still going to be very happy is what I'm seeing here with this Ten of Cups. Your uh, will to be happy is going to help you overcome the, the mental battle. Or There may be people coming up against this opportunity that you have, but your the benefits are going to be a lot more than... They're going to override any negative things that you may be thinking in your mind that may go wrong, they're actually going to go better than you think. So uh, you may have been self-sabotaging here, but you're going to move past self-sabotage and you're going to be courageous. You're, you've manifested the courage to take the plunge and because of that, you're going to be very emotionally fulfilled. You're going to be very happy. A very happy family life is what I see here. Someone here has a blonde daughter, someone you, you know maybe, or maybe this is you whose daughter is blonde. Some of you have two daughters. I'm seeing two dark-haired daughters here. Could be two girls with um, darker hair that are friends, very friendly with each other. But I see, again, a friendship between a mother and a daughter here. I'm seeing a lot of healing around this energy. Okay, you're getting your justice. You're getting your fairness. You're doing yourself justice as well. Things will be fair and balanced after something was unjust or unfair. The number 11 could be relevant to you. You could have Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with a Libra. Your daughter could be a Libra. We have the Ace of Wands here. So you're getting a new beginning following your passion and your inspiration. Um, the magician, you could have Gemini in your chart or dealing with someone who has Gemini in their chart. You're manifesting a whole new beginning for yourself. A vital, very vital, whole new beginning for yourself. You're getting your wish fulfillment and healing again. There's a lot of healing around your situation. The number 17 could be relevant to you as well as the number 8. Healing and a new beginning that leads towards stability and achieving long-term goals, wish fulfillment because you're following your inspiration and your passion. 
Uh, I'm seeing two people here. If you're wondering, the person on your mind is equally attracted to you and very attracted. So you both fantasize about each other. You both dream about each other. But I'm seeing you uh, now away from that kind of talk, right? Um, there is a situation here that is you following your passion, having a new beginning, and a lot of doors of opportunity op opening for you. And for those of you wanting a lot of like... Um, uh, options in love you're going to get a lot of options in love here okay people feeling very attracted to your energy and we have treasure your loved ones you are someone who treasured your treasures your loved ones they are your world and i'm seeing this world inside that teardrop and you're like wanting to mother and daughter again mother and daughter treasuring your loved ones it is important to love others deeply you love people deeply. You love your loved ones very deeply and you want to protect them. Whoever these people are, your daughter, the number 10 here could be relevant here. You are protected. Maybe you felt sad over some circumstance in your family and you treasure your loved ones. And it's maybe been a battle here, a confusing one, possibly. Um, so let's see, what else? Opal. So someone here's name could be Opal, but it says your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So it's almost saying you have no need to worry. Your family will be okay. Especially if this is a child. Your family will be okay. Okay. You will overcome whatever you've been through whatever your, your children have been through, whatever you've been through as a family. We have Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And one of the spiritual gifts opening up for you is your power to manifest. You could be on a twin flame journey, and maybe this twin flame journey really acted as a catalyst for your spiritual growth. And this is in turn um, leading you toward your emotional fulfillment because it's giving you the keys that you were lacking, things that you needed to know that you wouldn't have known any other way. Okay. Pele, see this uh, interaction with this twin flame energy, which is very mutual, by the way. It's like it, it brought you a sense of feeling alive again, feeling passionate, and also has made you be very honest with yourself about what it is that your heart's true desire is, and you're moving in that direction. Okay, pile number three. Very beautiful, interesting reading here. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Let me know how this resonates in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Bless you all. It was my pleasure to read for you guys today. Bye for now and see you next time.